Okay, so second one for today. My top two, I still think this one might be number one for me. Like, I think it's just a little bit more, but it's very much tied, like, very closely with Mary Did You Know. Um, <clears throat> and I heard this one on the radio, I don't know how many years ago? I heard it a couple times and I, I fell in love with it and ever since then I've, I've, I've never heard it on the radio again. And I'm like, what? where did it go? And a lot of people that I talk to don't know what it is. So I was like, you know what, let's share this. Uh, my favorite is the music video. Somebody made a little music video that has actual scenes from uh, the nativity. Uh, like a movie they did in like 2007. They, did, they took scenes from it and put it in this little music video and it's really cool, but I didn't want to risk too much copyright going on there. So I, I just got a little lyric video here, but if you have the chance, definitely go see it. I love the storyline that goes along with it because it's, it's just amazing. And I'm getting goosebumps talking about this one too. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like them so much, but um, this one is called Breath of Heaven. It's by Amy Grant. And, um, so, sorry, I'm messing around here. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, um, because Mary, did you know? It's like people, somebody's talking to her about, like, hey, did you know this? This is gonna, you know, this is your son, did you know? But this one is more of, like, Mary's point of view, like, from her thought process, like, like what's going through her mind um and it's a lyric view video so um uh, it's been i know the lyrics but i don't remember <laughs> you know as we go through i'll stop and kind of go over because yeah so anyway so let's get this one it's just interesting the two different perspectives i really love it <laughs> goosebumps. I'm like, just the thought, like, because I always wondered, like, what did she think? Like, not only when she said, uh, was asked, but when she said yes, and while she was pregnant, like, what was she thinking? And all, just this whole, pro I absolutely love it. It's so cool. It's good. Carry your son. silent prayer I am frightened by the love Right. 
so cool because like um I, I think it's like the verses that are it just has this almost note of confusion just um <clears throat> maybe a little fear in there not knowing kind of just just deep in thought and then these these where she's asking for for help for like a, a, you know the spirit to be with her for god to help her with this and how it kind of goes into just a more hopeful peaceful type of music it's so beautiful breath of heaven light in my darkness pour over me your holiness for you are Somebody's at the door. I'll wait for a minute. I'm sure that that just broke the whole. <laughs> I'll pause here if I can. One moment. Okay, I think it's back recording. Let's start. Let's do this again. We're like halfway through. You know what? I'll go back to halfway here. So. And so this is where it kind of transitions from the chorus back to the verse again, where she's unsure. Okay, I guess I will still be getting goosebumps. I'm going to have to just stop saying that because like every 30 seconds I'm like, oh, goosebumps, oh, goosebumps. <laughs> it's going to, yeah. Here we go. goes from um <clears throat> help me be strong just help me be which is i mean there's you can get a whole bunch of, in there just like help me to be <laughs> like and then it just goes down to help me absolutely love that oh so many goosebumps oh my gosh i'm getting like goosebumps on my goosebumps <laughs> Oh, 
that's such a gorgeous song. I love it. All right. Um, <clears throat> top two favorites. Yeah, after listening to them back to back, this I, this has to be my number one. But um, I still have goosebumps. Uh, but Mary, did you know, is definitely very close second place. Um, <clears throat> I need to put this one on my iPod too. I try not to put too much Christmas on the iPod just because I don't know why. I probably should. I only have like a couple, but I should put this one on there. I I should listen to it more often. I just love. And I'm always kind of the kind of person that questions. I'm always like, I wonder what this person you know was feeling. I wonder what was going through their head. I wonder. You know, I'm always kind of, you know, and then kind of putting myself, like, I'm like, I wonder what I would do. I'm very, I think a lot, a lot. So, um, songs like this one and Mary Did You Know, where they kind of, like, question things and they kind of uh, put things in others, like, her thoughts. Um, I absolutely love that gets me thinking even even more. Um, anyway, so yeah, that was Breath of Heaven by Amy Grant. Um, let me know if you've heard it before. Uh, let me wait, let me know what you think of it. Uh, and again, let me know what your favorite Christmas songs are. I, I love to know people's different different songs. Um, so that's all I got for today. Um, got a couple things I need to do, and then I gotta keep reading. I started reading The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings again. It's been a couple years, and I'm like totally hooked on it again. <laughs> Although I gotta find... I have this old series that I, I grew up with, that I've read since I was a kid, and I lost... The Hobbit, and I lost um, Return of the King, I think it is. If anybody knows where to get these, this kind, I think it's Valentine, Valentine, is that how you say it, books? I'm missing them, and I'm like, oh, I want, I want like the whole series that, the same, not all these different, but anyway. Okay, off track again. Um, so, if I don't see everybody next week, then I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Um, even if you're not Christian, <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's a good thing. I'm, I'm thinking of everybody, um, whether you celebrate it or not. And um, I hopefully this new year will be amazing. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get there. I'm, I'm kind of worried about this week. Um, I think Wednesday it is, because that's when that whole Thing at the border uh, that Trump put in place um, to kind of keep people from coming over the border right before you left the White House is going to end and the White House is not doing anything. They're not closing the border, nothing, and there are like literally millions of people down there just waiting to cross. And I live on the border and some of the stuff I've seen already is just scary. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll make it to the new year. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm like super talkative, I'm sorry, but yeah, so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, can't wait for this next year, it's, it's gonna be interesting, can't see it, can't wait to see, like, what, what's coming, so, um, that's all I got for this one, so comment and like and subscribe, I forgot my likes. Um, come and see me on my social media, and you can send postcards. Um, so other than that, that's all I got, so I will see everybody next time.